Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavendra Mishra and in this video we will learn how to take the screenshots and traces in Playwright. So in the course of this video we will learn how to take the screenshot of page and a screenshot of given element using Playwright and how to capture traces and view it in Playwright. So a reference website which I am going to use uh, for the test demo is saucedemo.com. So let me take you to this VS Code and create a spec file for this demonstration. So I'll name it as screenshot. Screenshots and traces dot spec dot js. And I will be importing a couple of libraries called test and expect from playwright package test package and i will give some description to my test and demo basically this is screenshot and traces demo okay so i'll be using one Anonymous function for the fat operator, and then your test block is ready. And inside which you can now call your website. So, using uh, this website, which I'll be using for the I just pasted over here for the reference, I should. Be pasting it to so I'm using this source demo website. So what we will do, we will quickly you know uh, create one script by pausing the by with the help of uh, Playwright Inspector. So for now, I will pause the screen and then I'll invoke the Playwright Inspector over here okay so just give the same name whatever i have just copied and then it will invoke the it will launch the browser and uh, it will launch the url and then invoke the playwright inspector using which you can uh, just record the scenario and here you have to give the standard 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 user and the password is that is uh, given uh, written down below secret underscore source and then click on login okay and now we are going to verify the test which is written over here so that's it so you can see it has recorded the scenarios which we want so i'll be copying from here and then i will go to the vs code and replace this pause with the script which i have copied from the playwright inspector so now what you have to do here is like you have to just make sure if it is actually uh, working and if it is functional so i will just run it again just to validate like if the script which we have recorded is working fine yeah it is working fine now i will uh, just change the username and see uh, how it behaves so it will be again passed but there is a it is not uh, the right you know uh, sort of you know automation so we should always make sure like uh, whenever we are clicking on uh, this you know login button it is landing to the uh, right home page or right page right so whatever we are expecting so maybe we are expecting this swag lab or whatever right so we want to you know uh, after successful login here we have uh, fill whatever is required whatever credentials are required a username and password so no matter whether we are filling in valid or valid and we are simply clicking and uh, it is passing the test so we don't want that okay so we want um, proper validation to be done over here so what i'll do i will just click on i will just write a wait and expect and now after successful login here you can see we are expecting this element to be present on the home page right so let me just take the css locator for this css selector and then what we are expecting 
we are expecting that this particular locator has some values uh, some something like some some values to contain text basically to contain text so this particular locator to contain the contain text yeah yeah and what uh, text we we are expecting swag labs right so you can also inspect through dev console and see if it has that text or not yeah so we are expecting this okay swag labs to be present in that so this particular text is expected so now uh, i will just again uh, run this and uh, if we are giving some invalid credentials this time so it should not pass okay because it will not land to this particular home page so rather it has failed over here okay so you can see it is it has not received anything the received its a string is uh, null okay so if i pass um, let me just close this and now uh, we will do a valid login and expect that it is the test is passed so this time is to pass and then further we will take the screenshot of you know uh, a landed uh, landing page okay where we have landed okay now uh, so you can see uh, this particular you know test has passed after we provide the valid credentials now time to take the screenshot of this particular you know uh, so either so wherever you want you can take the screenshot of you know uh, that particular state of the web application okay or where the strip uh, uh, your script is kind of you know, halted so in order to take the screenshot what you will do you will actually uh, again so as i mentioned you can take the screenshot of page and we will also take the screenshot of given element using playwright okay so we will go here again and page dot screenshot so this is the method using which you can take the screenshot now uh, if you want to you know uh, give some name right to your screenshot or and store to some path right you can do that so you can pass that path to this screenshot method okay and let's say screenshot is the name or home page i would write home dot png or jpg whatever right extension you want to give so with this if i run so i should see somewhere here right so that uh, screenshot and it will be showing me the screenshot taking the screenshot of that uh, home page basically where we have landed right after this so we have executed the script till here uh, where we have landed to this uh, swag labs home page basically and it will take the screenshot of that landing page okay so let's run it again and i will refresh the yeah no need to refresh and you can see the home.png so this is the screenshot taken by the playwright okay isn't it cool yeah it is so now uh, I'll, I'll go back to this and we'll take the screenshot of the pat on that particular you know locator which we have recognized right so i'm in i'm interested in this swag labs so right till here uh, i can just go ahead and uh, just identify the locator first and so that locator i have identified over here so app dot i want to take the screenshot of i don't want to take the screenshot of complete whole uh, page rather i will be taking the screenshot of this particular in uh, element on which i am interested so this is how you can take the screenshot now again if you want to you know store that to some pa some path somewhere so same story right so you can give like that path you can specify that name so maybe element okay let me type jpg here or any extension file extension you want you can give now it will take the screenshot of that swag labs only so this is the beauty of the playwright right so let's see it has logged in and uh, see 
element dot jpg okay see it has taken the screenshot of only swag labs that particular you know, web element so this is how you can take the screenshot of page and element uh, in playwright and one more thing like uh, how we can take the screenshot using uh, playwright config files so i will quickly show you how you can do that so here you have to specify this attribute inside use in the playwright config.js and how you can give that so you will be giving you will be setting on that is a property okay and also for the trace like um, you have to specify on or off or retain on failure okay so i will just for now i will set it to on and we will now take the screen i mean uh, uh, a screenshot and 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 uh, trace which is set to uh, on okay which is enabled so i'll be running this and it will be generating the trace dot zip uh, zip file okay for this particular you know uh, uh, spec file so let's turn for it and here inside uh, if you refresh and go inside test result you will see the test trace dot zip file okay so this is how you can get the and also you can see the here so let me just copy this and uh, right click and copy the path and just go to here and you need to how you can uh, uh, open that trace so you have to go to the trace dot playwright dot dev and you have to provide the path for that trace so you can go one level up and here you have to specify see i have given the uh, path of that uh, trace dot uh, uh, gif file and it has uh, shown me every step every execution it has recorded okay with the screenshot on okay so you can see like it has taken the screenshot and at this moment particularly you know time like after 400 millisecond or 600 uh, millisecond where we were in the execution of that test script or that test scenario right so we have entered uh, the path we have uh, taken the it has taken the screenshot at say uh, you know two second and 1.8 we have logged into this and here you can see uh, it has recorded the actions okay so we are filling the data over here everything is right here okay so this is how um, how uh, you can read the uh, trace and it has recorded almost every you know steps executed okay along with the screenshot see it has console network call it has recorded everything and the call uh, which particular you know time what has happened so password when you actually uh, what parameters actually you specified what is the log and the password right everything is over uh, here recorded okay an action and for everything uh, later you can i will be explaining them uh, to you and this is the screenshot which we have taken in the course of execution of this video basically ex execution of this script okay and then just uh, come back to uh, uh, here and just open the uh, report let's see the report whether it has taken the screenshot or not so mind you we have uh, specified the screenshot at uh, uh, script level and also in the config playwright config.js file okay so this is that and let's see and see the screenshot which we have taken so it is given over here okay so once you open this report html report which is right here you can see the html report and we are actually viewing the html report later i will tell you like how other reports can be configured with the play right but for now uh, this is also very very useful so you can uh, concentrate on this html report and see we have opened and we have um, we, we can see all passed uh, failed okay flakiness and script so when you click on uh, all you can see every test uh, steps executed and the time taken uh, to execute the every you know step and a screenshot also attached over here 
okay you can take the screenshot you can it, it has the zip of screenshots it has the trace you can copy you can open okay from here the same file basically whatever we have opened uh, with the trace.playwright.zip you can go to the location so it has generated your uh, trace.zip uh, inside your playwright automation your project basically you can go to that path here and you can just take the uh, path of this and open it in the trace.playwright.dev that url and you can view it okay like we have been you know looking at it so that's all uh, uh, for this particular video and uh, i hope uh, you have liked the explanation and uh, learned from this video so please do subscribe to my channel if you have not and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching